Okay, so I'd like to invite uh, two of our council reps, Carleen and Delicia, up to do the council rep report. Or Carleen by herself. Sure. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Yes, uh, Dr. Pittman um, had uh, a conflict. And so, yes, thank you. It's just I'm happy to report on behalf of uh, me, Drs. Lisa Ferdinand, Arpana Inman, and uh, Delicia Pittman, your proud council representatives. Dr. Inman and I will be rolling off in December and just want to welcome uh, Dr. Milo Dodson, who will be starting in January. So I'm very excited about that. So um, I won't probably have time to give questions, but I wanted to give some highlights of what happened in council this year and things that might feel relevant to the division. But um, please know that any questions that you might have, we're happy to answer. Please feel free to email me or any of your council reps. And the joke I make is if you Google Curleen or DeBlair, it turns out there aren't that many and you will find my email address. Um, okay, so I wanted to just start by saying that uh, uh, President um, Tama, Dr. Tama uh, Bryant just led a wonderful council meeting that was just a beautiful um, kind of combination of we got through the tasks that we also attended to process um, and, and group and, and it was um, the, the themes of joy, justice and join. Uh, we had a plenary that focused and invited us as leaders to focus on centering leadership practices of indigenous uh, indigenous peoples, excuse me, by Dr. Iva Graywolf, who received a presidential citation actually, and Dr. Joseph Gahn. And since um, so many of us, I think, consider how we do service or how we do leadership, I wanted to share some of those. Personal honesty, setting priorities, kinship obligations, however you define family, wisdom, integrity, bravery, love, respect, and humility. And I just wanted to take the opportunity to say how fortunate um, I feel that we have Dr. Siobhan Moore-Laban um, who manifests all of these values. Um, and it's really, I'm, it's not lost on me when we have the leadership that we need. And so thank you so much for your leadership. Um, we also got a report on how APA is doing generally. APA membership is growing. We have more media mentions. More organizations are wanting to partner with APA, more focus and integration of de um, DEI throughout, um, and also uh, efforts to promote and focus on, on re-earning uh, public trust in our field. So some resolutions that were passed were uh, an item to oppose mental health screening questions on character and fitness for licensure to practice law. I mentioned this one because I think it helps to remove some of the stigma and address some of the stigma re related to mental health diagnoses um, and treatment um, for admittance to the bar. APA guidelines for undergraduate psychology major, renewal of forensic psychology as a specialty in professional psychology. The APA guidelines for operational psychology were passed, um, which are um, guidelines for operational psychologists who provide psychological services in support of national security, national defense, and public safety. Um, our own uh, Dr. Melanie Wilcox um, help, helped to lead an initiative to develop an APA policy statement on equitable and inclusive student admissions in higher education, given the recent um, uh, Supreme Court decisions, and really including in that uh, and suggesting options for addressing the underrepresentation of students of color in order to achieve diverse student bodies at educational institutions and creating pathways to expanded career opportunities. We accepted an APA policy on developmental risks and opportunities of adolescent employment, accepted the Board of Educational Affairs report on racial disparities and how racism and bias um, maintain racial disparities in pre-K to 12 education, the Board of Scientific Affairs Task Force report on tenure and promotion for faculty of color in psychology, but in other fields, and that will be reported and presented on the APA website, so um, those will be accessible. And then finally, I want to highlight that um, Dr. Sandy Schulman was awarded the Raymond D. Fowler Award for Outstanding Contributions to APA. Hi, Sandy. And uh, last night, uh, Dr. Janet Helms received a pres presidential citation as well for um, her, I mean, also lifetime contributions to psychology. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carlene. 